In this video, we will show you instructions on how to create a large number of Spotify accounts with our software Spotify Creator Pro. After downloading and installing the software, you will launch in with provided username and password, and then you will receive the interface here. There are several basic settings you need to set up. The first one is the account section. So you will click on this icon data. You will see the database manager dialog box here. And there are two ways for you to import data. The first one is you will do it manually. You will click on this icon. Then select add group. Type the group name here. For example, I will type the tutorial, then click OK, then you click on this group, click on this icon, select Add Item, then you will enter the parameters here. The first one is Email, next is Password. Then recovery mail. With the last section, like Rossi part, Rossi username and password, you can leave them blank if you don't select from data at Rossi strikes. Now I will enter this Rossi and part. Next, the other section, the software will fill in automatically. Then click OK. Then click on this icon. You can add items similarly. And another way for you to import data is you will create a text file. Then you will enter the parameters like this, like this title on the dialog box. The first one is our email address. Next, comma password, comma recovery mail. Then from a proxy part, if you select from data at proxy source section, similarly you can enter the other information of email tracks like this per line. Then click to save. Next, at converts, you will select import CSV. Then click on this icon. Select email account text file created, then click OK. And you can see the parameter was imported here. Then click on this icon to rename this rule for easily remember. Then click OK, close this dialog box, and at account session, you will select the group of account that you want to run. For example, I will select tutorial. Next is run session. This is the number of times that you want the software to run. If you set it at the default, the software will run continuously until you stop it manually. And you can put any other number here. For example, if you want the software run 1,000 times and then start ma automatically, you put 1,000 here. Next is tracks. Tracks is the number of tabs that will be run at the same time. So, for example, if you put three here, three tabs will be open and then run at the same time, and three Spotify accounts will be created at the same time. So, you need to put the number which is complex with your computer configuration here. Next is Cookies Father section. You will create a new folder and then name it as Cookies. Then you will get this path of folder and then paste it into this section. This folder will save the lodging status of 
Spotify accounts would have been created. Next is Processor section. There are three options here. When you select from file, at file process section, there are two sources for you. The first one is live from URL. You could pay links to a drag or browse here. And the second choice is a lines from file. You will create a text file to say browse. For example, this is our browser. Then click to save. Then at file process session, click on this icon, select browser text file created. Next, when you select from data at browser strikes, you will import browser along with accounts at account session as I mentioned above. You can visit saferbrosy.com to rent brosy. In case you don't have brosy, you can select no brosy. The software will run with the IP of your computer. Next, at user agent files, when you purchase the software, we will send you the user agent file. You just download it. And this is the user agent file you see and you will click on this icon, select the provided user agent file. Next is first name and last name sessions. These are first name and last name of Spotify accounts which will be created. So there are two options for you. The first one is you just leave it at the default. So no need to set up anything, just leave random string like this and then click on this icon. Click on Edge Test to see the name that the software has set for you. Similarly with last name. And the second choice for you is you will select lines from file here. Then you create a text file to say first name that you want to create. You will enter the name per line here. For example, these are names that I want to create and click to save. Then at first name session, click on this icon, select the first name text file created. Similarly, you can do the same with last name, select line from file here, create a text file to save last name, and then upload this session. In this video, I will select random string here. Next is live time. This is the range of time that you want the server take break among run turns. So remember that the unit is millisecond. If you want to set five to seven seconds, enter 5,000 to 7,000 here. Next, at two capture key here, you will create accounts at two capture.com and then you will enter that key to capture here. Then click OK to run. You can click on show browser to see how the software creates Spotify accounts.
Now we will instruct you to extract the result. Click on this icon data to see the result in database manager here. You can see the registered column, the software automatically mark yes here and then you select the group you want to export and select convert as well csv click on this icon and then select the disk that you want to save the result then enter the name of the result here for example i will enter the name register spotify then click save then you can see the Spotify of Spotify account which had been created here this demonstrated above are instructions on how to create a large number of Spotify accounts with our software Spotify creator pro you can visit automotive.com to see my useful software thank you very much for your time see you in the next video